I'm going to uh, show you a new piece I'm working on today. As you can see, it's a leopard, and I'm going to be putting in a jungle scene behind it. Um, it's, it's, it's in oil pastels and a little bit of colored pencil on pastel board, which is made by Ampersand. So you can see these are the pastels that I use. You can get lots of different types of pastels in various price ranges. I generally go through so much that I use some of the more inexpensive brands because I end up using most of them on a painting. So. so if you ever use pastel board, it's got a rough texture to it. It takes a lot of color. And so generally put many layers down on the piece. Right now I'm working in background layer of the leopard. You can see on the leopard's head, which I've worked some more on, that I did multiple layers before I put down the spots. Leopard spots can be a bit intimidating, but if you just take it one step at a time, it's not too bad. And I want it more of a lighter area for the leopard's chest, and then gradually work my way back to more of a darker tan yellow color. Again, the nice thing that with pastels, these are oil pastels, um, if you put down a layer and you don't quite like it, you can scrape it off with an X-Acto knife. As you can see, and you can also do some kind of cross-hatching with it too. You can see I can actually scrape back to the back layer if I don't like what I'm doing. And sometimes I'll put multiple layers and then scratch over it to get kind of a cross-hatching effect. So anyway, this piece will be on my website when it's done, www.lynetteshelley.com. I hope to see you um, watch more of my YouTube videos. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lynette Shelley. In my last video, I was showing you uh, some behind the scenes of this piece here called Jangala. And um, some people were asking, how, they wanted to see how the final product turned out. So this is my artwork. It is on um, pastel board, which is made by Ampersand. And it basically has a rough tooth. So it's very good for picking up colors from pastels, whether oil or soft pastels. Um, also colored pencils are good with it, as well as acrylics. And so for most of the piece, I use oil pastels. And you can see here are some examples. Usually, the cheaper brands that you get usually have more wax in them, they're a little stiffer. The more expensive brands usually have more oil to them and they blend a lot better. Um, and so I use this for most of the pick piece. Also, sometimes if it's cold out, you might need to warm up the oil pastel. You can hold it in your hands for a little bit because they can get a little stiff with the cold. Um, I also used colored pencils. Uh, my very favorite brand to use are these woodless colored pencils. Um, they're made by Progresso, um, also known as Koinor, and they're all pigment. There's no wood in them at all, and they, they, they're very vibrant, so I can't recommend them enough. I use them to do a little bit of the, like the detail work in the piece, because sometimes the oil pastels are a bit too thick. Um, and also sometimes I'll put a layer of colored pencils down first, and then put oil pastel on top of that to kind of get a neat effect with the texture. So you can see that in the background of the piece where I did a darker layer of blue and then went over it with a lighter oil pastel color. 
And then being oil pastels, you will need to fix the artwork when you're done because otherwise you'll get mess everywhere. So you want to do a couple sprays with a fixative. Um, do a layer, let it dry, do another layer, and it uh, should be good to go. And then I also like to incorporate some gel medium. If I'm going to be doing showing the piece on, uh, in a frame but without glass, I like to put some gel medium on top over that as a kind of a glaze. Uh, you can get matte medium or glossy. I usually go for glossy. And that kind of deepens the colors and makes, gives a kind of a shiny varnish effect. And it completely protects the painting. You can, I could put, wipe this down with a washcloth right now and nothing would happen to it. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed my piece. Please visit me at www.lynetteshelley.com.